world. My name is Sensei Jason Moad. And welcome to my world of world matters. Um, I've been doing heavily, heavily a lot of uh, knife stuff a lot lately, Bowie, and I'll continue to do it. But that's not all I do, and that's not all I want to share. There's many other things that are important. And um, I'm going to do in this video a little bit on that, on non-weapon combat or empty hand or karate. That's what karate means. Kara is empty. Te is hand. Empty hand. Empty hand fighting. You know. So, so I have a a drill I made up in 2015. A 15 count close quarter drill. And I've been teaching that privately to adults since then, and it's great, and it can be in any shape. It, it, it's like a kata, but it's not like a long-winded one, let's say. Um, but it's very, it's very um, good. So what are we doing? I'm going to show the 15 count close quarter drill, which is no weapons. And then after that, I'm going to show for the Bowie people. I'm going to do a Bowie, double knife Bowie set number three. I'm going to show a third one. And then whatever else comes out. And so here we go. All right, the 15 count close quarter drill. Is, yes, it is a kata, if you want to call it that, or a form. Okay, I'm American, so I'll use American English. It's form, not kata. No disrespect to katas. Well, them, but it's just a name for it, okay, vehicle. And first, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it, and then I'll break it down. And my lovely assistant will keep me in time so I don't go over ten minutes with this. I will. Far. Okay. All right. So it starts. You can do it anywhere in your living room. You can do it outside. Um, it doesn't matter. It starts right where you're standing, in a circle, or um, the circles in your head. You know, like I'm saying, like you don't need more than this much space uh, to do it. And ironically, too, this this is another lesson too. Uh, this is your space. I remember the first lesson I learned uh, when the first first day of the training. Sensei, back in '91, he said, "This is your space." Anyone gets in your space you don't want to, you fuck them up. That's it. No questions asked. That's your personal space and you own it. <clears throat> All right, so close quarter form, we demonstrate it. It's only 15 moves. Just doing it like I just did at that speed. It's just a little good, it's a good workout. But other than that, let me break it down to you. It's brilliance. All right. <coughs> Most people are right-handed. All right, so a lot of attacks when you're doing training, it's a right-handed attack given usually because rarely people are left. But you train both sides. So it's given off the premise of a right, headshot coming to me like this. So I'm going to throw in a big wide punch at my head. And I'm here and I'm in this stance, okay? Alright, starts from here. We start like this not like this for an important reason. Okay, why don't we want to do this? Because this is a fight. Okay, a real fight. Nothing is fair. Okay, we want to deceive. We want every odd in our favor. We want to trick what every every possible thing we can do uh, in our favor to destroy the target. So this says passive kind of right. Like hey, I'm I'm not I don't want to fight. You know, it's like hey, leave me alone. Why do you want to do that? Because well, one, if there's witnesses and stuff, people seeing two people, they're gonna say one guy had his hands up, other guy was like this, looks better. 
okay, for the star. But this is really, <laughs> this is uh, called the uh, attack by draw. It's really, this is, I'm attacked by drawing. You know, I'm attacking you by drawing you in, by, by acting submissive or scared, weak like this. I'm lulling, you're, now you're overconfident and you think you've got to want everything and you, you, you're more stupid. Right, so you, you stay in that stance. Plus, it's an attack by draw. You come into the face or whatever. But you're here. Now, you don't have to have any kind of blocking uh, training with the spear because you're in this position. Blocks you from a sucker punch if they're talking to other people. So this is why we start like this. Hey, what's the problem? Not, hey, you know, idiot like that. We're here. And number one, the human person, people who aren't trained, and some people who are, untrained people's uh, natural tendency of body movement is to do this when so something's coming at them, or a person or a thing or da danger or something, is to is to is to just do, is to fold like that, you know. And in the beginning of training, any art doesn't matter. You must learn. It's all about taijutsu, which is body movement. You gotta study and know body movement before any other things. Um, so getting back to this. Um, body movement. Oh yeah, okay. So, so going from in here, that that punch is coming, and I'm taking that that natural tendency that people already is built into you to do. And just blending it with the elbow and turning it into an attack. So as the punch comes in, I'm blocking my head, I'm turning it away, I'm covering, I'm shielding, and I'm blowing up. I'm blowing up that arm, that appendage that comes. Ideally, you want to hit the bicep if you can, but don't go for that. You just want to go for any part of the fucking arm to destroy it or hurt it, a finger, a wrist, anything. You're just blowing it up, not hit, letting that fist hit you. And at the same time, you're doing damage, you're clearing the line. His arm is here, it's cleared. Now you got open chop right there at the neck. So that's why it's one, two. One, chop to the neck. The Friday assholes are out. Now, left to the left side. One, two. So that's one, two, three, four. Five is a right palm to the forehead. Six is a left palm to the chin. Seven is the right palm to the sternum. Eight is the lower the solar plexus, still same area. Okay, rides right down the body. Boom, 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 boom. And then nine is a right upward elbow strike. Or empi uchi, Japanese. Upward elbow strike. Nine, ten comes down. Natural movement of the body. Downward hammer fist. Ten. And we do the left side. Eleven. And down to 12 and right there your vision told us that hammering their shoulder boom breaking that shoulder clavicle it's kind of easy to do if you hit it good enough so boom 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 and all the repetitions will teach your body to do the right thing and say you know like that okay so we get that's all the way up to now 12 is a hook to the neck coming like this like you're diving Hooking to the side of the neck. Not straightforward and obvious like everyone sees on TV. Here's a little, real quick. Just hook, hook them to the side of the neck with both hands and pull them into a downward knee spike. It's like a roundhouse kick, but with your knee to their Charlie Horse area. This this big nerve right here. Bam! It's, you know, it's not a straight, it's not a high knee. There's one that goes up and comes down. If you want to get used to drilling it in, your body weight, everything, right into that. So that would be 13. Boom. Now 14 is the left leg, so it's a uh, thrust, a knee thrust. Guys, it rushes you, boom, right in the groin. And final 15 is a rear leg thrust hard to the stomach. Okay. So we can do that from another angle. See what it looks like, and you can do this also with a weapon in your your hands. So let me do it from this angle. Here. 
and, and if you can't do all this, you slowly until you can. You know, but this will keep you loose. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen. Oh, I messed up the count. Um, but you get the idea. Um, where am I on the time with that? Ten minutes. Really? Right Thirty where I seconds. Wanted to. Okay, uh, we're going to pause for a moment. Okay, back now to do the Bowie portion of the video. It's going to be double Bowie set number three. All right, I have ten of them. Ten of them in the system. Number three, and they're all done with the generic opening, which I keep doing every video, and I'll continue it for people. You know, just it's good practice, you know, for me as well. Every time, every time you train or teach, instruct something, you get better too. So it's a win-win. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate it. Do it first. From one or two angles and break it down. Okay, double knife set number three. Starting with the, like I said, just the generic. Oak. Starting in your fighting stance, your, your knife double bowie stance was the same as home bowie. Again, just to review that, for those who haven't seen it, it's just like you're getting on a bike, sitting on a bike, keeping your back straight, or slouch shift. Okay. Or Japanese familiar Zenko Sudachi. Really, it's a relaxed Zenko Sudachi forward set. Back up. And points. Very importantly, always pointed directly at the center of the target's visionary or, or face. Okay, that's where they face. You can fishtail with them if they move. You, you keep this track right, right locked on. Okay. Anything going to get to you, you've got to get through these. Okay, so here's your, here's your good number of cents. Generic openings. Slash. Thrust. Over. Not under. Over the arm. Step to the line. Move three. Shift off while still being on the line. Now take it from low to mid. Back cut out of there. Rust. This completes the generic opening. Number three starts here. One, two, three. Rising head block. Notice how my wrist is like that. It's above my head. It's not a head block. How you train, how you fight, believe me. Three. Is that three? One, two, three. Four is then a thrust. Yeah, Five is hammer fist to the back of the head. Six is a tricky, very careful, super armor. Under six. And here now, seven is a scissor cut to your rear. So wherever your rear is, step open, scissor cut. That's 
down into a double thrust, a double bowing. From there, there's a, a side kick, or if you can't do the side kick, you're right into this twin high-low strike, which is a beautiful thing. I'll break that down <coughs> in a minute. Okay, and as you get these, like, you do them in succession. Uh, like, I'll do uh, uh, sets one, two, and three, you know, just to, so you know how you can build up a workout once you, you start learning these. You do them one after another. Each one's roughly 10 moves. <coughs> that is number one. All starting with the generic opening. All right, that's a good little workout. I'm trying to breathe hard, of course, the camera, but that's why I'm a 50 year old me too. So just breaking this, a few key points in this number three form. Okay, skipping over the generic opening it up now. So we're starting, it's where it starts. Number one's a double, it's a double. It's like one and two is the same. It's not one, two, it's, okay. Here, someone's coming, doing it this way. One, two, someone's coming at my head from here. So I pick it up where the he rising headlock goes above my head with the spine of the blade, okay? After that, now I'm gonna answer thrust. After the thrust of the stomach, He's doubled over, finish off with the back, the back of the head. Here, another target's rushing you from the rear, stick them. Another one's uh, coming at you from the rear, you lift up the back leg, scissor cut into a lower to mid range double thrust, ending with a side kick if you can, lead leg side kick followed by this twin high-low strike. Okay, now let's think about that. I'm going to end it maybe on that, talking about that. Just in general. The target knows it's got two blades coming at him. Okay, you got two blades. Now all of a sudden you all shift. Or, or high, you're moving, moving. And then you go high-low. High-low. He's lucky if he can pick up one of them. All right, even if he's skilled, you can pick up one, but not the other. And some remarkable chance that happens, or you should have one such a reel that you go and finish up with anything else. So that's the other reason why you want to get all these moves down that flow with your body correctly. So you're, you become like an internal like whirlwind of things if anything should happen. Okay, now just I'm gonna go how am I in the time? Eight. All right, good. Now I want to go into a little bit, keep away from the double bowie. Now I'm going to go into a little bit of a, a block arc cutting again. Both with the bowie and then with my smaller one. Arc cutting is just like this. Learned this from the great, great Dr. Kelly Warden. I learned this from. Um, oh, they're so great. And I, I like to add a thrust to it. But what it is, is just you're cutting an arc, like a moon, and you, this is your quadrant for you, your zone, your safe zone. So you're you're protecting it. Arc cut there, one. And I, suddenly I shift, I, my hand goes like this, one. It comes to this side, I pivot my feet, Live another arc. Two. Now low. Three. High. Four. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. 
And then, once you get started real quick. Now, you get uh, a pencil with it. So you add the thrust to the arc cut, which is a cut too. Arc cut, comes around, thrust. Arc cut, thrust. Now it works even more beautifully in reverse grip. As you do your arc cuts, different than it's right up, up. So when I arc cut this way, you deliver that thrust so much faster. Now you see, that's just because how the body is made. And here's it, this for for me. Not bad, it's all right. But compared to, oh, it made me rock. Yeah, boom. It's loaded, it's correct for my body. It's the best thing to shoot from that, is the reverse grip. So you do your arc blocks and forward, and then you do them in reverse. Then you add your thrust. Now, last thing pointing out on the thrust, ending and end with this, is that twin high low. It's very good because that you can even translate that. All of this stuff too, uh, this Bowie and any really weapon also can translate into an empty hand in one way or another. Uh, especially, you know, like the, the block. I'm like just using a fist for, as my weapon, cutting my heart. All right. All right, and. Just one more little thing about it, just to prove to people why training and taking the time to do it right instead of being a kamikaze you know, and these blood and guts idiots and stuff. Uh, because, oh, let me just show it. All right, let's say I'm a fighter, a boxer or something, and I got a really good right hand, right? And I'm boxing, or we're fighting, it's punching. I got my right hand. I want to get this guy, I want to circle him into my right hand. I don't want to circle him away from my right hand. I don't want him trapped where I'm chasing him, you know. I want to get, I want to get him going so he's, he's coming in, boom, and I get him, it's really short, you see. If I get him, if I circle him into my shot, like say I want to take him down, you know. I circle him into my shot, boom, get him quick. But if I got him going away, I'm chasing that fucking leg. Or again, back to the punch. I got this right hand. I want to get him coming into this punch. Now, I don't want him going this way and getting a very a little bit of it. You understand? Same with the shot. What I'm saying is that because that's almost as simple as I could think of. Example of, ah, well, if you didn't know that, you might just as easily or be the one to walk into a shot to walk into a punch or same thing applies from the double leg take that into my my thrust or my cut i want to circle them into my shot my cut and that's why you've got to just do all these things and keep training every day for the rest of your life and that's it so with that i'm gonna stop here uh thank you and um Oh, if anyone is interested in training, you live in the tri-state area, email me. You can email me, jasonmoad at gmail.com. Do not call me. Do never call me. I will never answer the phone uh, unless I don't, unless I know you. So if you want to contact me for anything related to Bowie's training, real combatives, please do it through email. Hello, everyone in the world. 
These are some